This is a story about love. The kind of love that ties marriages together for decades. And allows you to forgive before falling asleep each night. And also the kind of love that learns from example. From generations of long-lasting love. Here's 13 on your side's Elena Holland. You can tell your side and then I'll tell my side, right? Okay, yes. Every love story has a beginning. We met on a canoe trip in, in uh, on the Paramore Cut River. A scene where the main couple first lock eyes. I probably didn't impress her very, very well. A part where the couple felt it was all going to work out. I think we even knew then that we'd make a good married couple, you know. This love story of Gary and Kathleen Kopp's life has many chapters, 51 of them. Celebrating the postponed 50th wedding anniversary. A delayed celebration due to the pandemic. But 51 years ago, the cop story changed from one of longtime friends to one of marriage when Gary needed someone to drive his Porsche across the country. Wrote her back and asked her at the end of the school year coming up, would she drive my car out if I gave her power of attorney? <laughs> Once they met up in Texas. He d decided that whatever I thought about us getting married, that it was up to me. A few hours later. So I woke up in the middle of the night with this big, why not, you know? Gary's version. I knew I wouldn't get my car keys. <laughs> That's what he tells everybody. Unless <laughs> I propose. One month later, they were married. Everybody else, and, what, what? You know, everybody's surprised. And Kathleen, she did end up with that car. The only school, school. elementary <laughs> school teacher driving a new Porsche. This love story does not end with Gary and Kathleen. There are many volumes to this book with their siblings. They've been married at 57, and so have Pat and Kay. Of Kathleen's 11 siblings, she is the seventh to be married for more than 50 years. Three others married 42. We, we communicated got along. well. Yeah. <laughs> Kathleen's sister, Mary Ann, and her husband, Rick. 52 years. Love at first sight. I was the maid of honor, and he was a groomsman. And we decided three days later we would get married. Also. I have been married 53 years to Norman Hatmaker. Sisters Alberta. Norm's sense of humor and kindness. And younger sister, Jane. We've been married 42 years. Both finding a long list of attributes in their partners, keeping them together through the decades. Well, for me, it's the way he treats me, just like. I'm the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> this one large family story, written with the pen of love, began long before the siblings found their other halves. Their parents married 55 years as well. It's the example not just that we've given as spouses, but also that our parents have too in guiding us. The epilogue to this story is the example of love they set for their children and the one they share with all of you. You can't have a solid marriage without trust in each other. You never speak poorly about your spouse. We have to have our own interests and allow each other to do that. Never go to bed or to sleep being angry at each other. For Kathleen and Gary, turning the page on 51 married years this Sunday, offer one last piece of advice for young couples, staring ahead at their own blank page. The best thing is just to say, yes, dear. <laughs> Elena Holland, 13 on your side. <laughs> A smart man. <laughs> Very smart man. Oh, my gosh. Kathleen and Gary are celebrating their anniversary with a big family reunion this Sunday at Mass. And Kathleen's 102-year-old mother will even be attending. And, you know, Elena said advice for young couples. I think that's advice for every couple. For every couple. And I think they have longevity not only in their marriages but in their life. Yes. Their mom being oh. 102. I think I'm going to have this smile pasted on my face all night. It's, it's so nice. It's a great story. Thanks, Elena, for bringing it to us. Coming up, a local school gets a significant donation.